Hey everybody, we are checking out Far World Pioneers. This is hot off the presses. Thank you to Tiny Build for the sponsorship. It came out today. It's in Steam. It's on Xbox. Almost called it Xbox. You'll see why in a second. Because the real nugget here, it's also available on Xbox Game Pass day one. Today's March, the, sorry, May the 30th. It is out right now. It is a 2D side-scrolling planetary survival game. It, you might consider it in the vein of something like a Starbound. And it's also from uh, developers that worked on RimWorld and Starbound as well. We're going to check it out here uh, for a couple of hours. And again, thank you to Tiny Build for the sponsorship. I'm going to go New Game. <clears throat> Is it true you got a big butt? Excuse me, I'm doing a, I'm, I'm doing work for a client right now. I would like if any not safe for work questions were um, relegated to non-client work hours, please. Welcome to Far World Pioneers. This tutorial will guide you through the basics of the game. You could cancel the tutorial at any time by clicking X. Okay, old me would have done that. New me, no thanks. Wazda to move, space to jump, and of course, left will swing your pickaxe. Gun! <laughs> Effective management of colonists will be crucial in your journey. Let's begin by defining a stockpile for your colonists to automatically store resources you harvest. Press L to open the build menu, select stockpile, and place one down. Okay. I mean, why not, why not right here? There you go. Sounds good to me. Excellent. Now your colonists will automatically store and use resources. Press tab to open the orders menu. Okay, so it is a little rim worldy. Close this up, press tab to open the orders menu. Any chance you could cut and chop, and then drag a box over one or more trees. There you go. Okay, go ahead and chop those up. Colonists can build structures and craft items for you. Try this by placing a workbench. Optionally, you can hold E over build orders to construct them yourself. Press L to open the build menu. Build a workbench for four wood. Press E on the constructed workbench and build a torch. Okay, but I, we need the resources first. Let me just go ahead and walk over those. And I'll place my workbench right here. Needs four wood. One colonist needs a bed. I could have told you that. One colonist needs a bed. I'm silly. I have four wood. I actually have 69 wood. But it's on my person. You know what I should do? I should place it into the stockpile. I should have just let the colonists drag it to the stockpile. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but wood will never hurt me. It's this rubber. Drop a little bit of it there. A little salve right there. Okay, look at that. He's going crazy. He's, he's welding the wooden workbench together. And then press E on the workbench to build a torch. He's done it. A lot of streamers probably would not be capable of doing this, but but me, on the other hand, look at that. Buddy has crafted a torch. Colonists can also build blocks using blueprints. Try placing a blueprint for a wooden wall. A colonist will then construct it for you using some wood. Life pod has crashed nearby. One colonist needs a bed. You have the option to build blocks yourself or place them directly from your inventory. Okay, L, structure, wooden wall. Where can we place our wooden wall? It has to be placed like above plant line. Okay. Well, I guess it's not gonna look uh, it's not gonna look so hot here, but sure. Let's just place one right there. And I'm sure Buddy will will go for that. It does look a little hideous though. Finally, there are management tabs that can further help you administrate your colony. Press O and explore the management tabs. Map, tasks, buddy, patient, first aid, cook, crafter. This is a, a medicine, I assume. His highest priority is being sick. Sounds like me after I eat chicken sashimi. Construction, hauler, research. Okay, I understand. This concludes the basics. More in-depth topics can be accessed via the Buddypedia. Maybe talking to Buddy can clue you in on what to do next. Why, hello, Buddy. You alive? Okay, good. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. We have to get off this planet somehow. 
I'd say we start with collecting resources. Why don't you have a look around the place and see what you can gather? As far as shelter, I think we should find a cave or fut cut down some trees with an axe or a pickaxe. Have a look around, see what you can find. Those crash pods usually come with a survival kit and some basic supplies. It might be worth going back to the site to see what you can salvage. You know I can help you out. You don't have to do everything alone. Press tab to open the orders menu and you can order me to mine or harvest. I can also build or haul. You aren't totally alone out here. I think we're we've done enough today. We should find a good sleeping spot. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking, brother. Do me a favor and cut and chop like all that stuff. Go for it. I'm going to look at our crash drop pod and I see that we have oil lanterns. Medical kits, rations, a survival knife, a revolver, and some ammo. Put the ammo in your inventory. We go gun. We go knife. What is this? Rations. Probably put those on your quick bar. Medical kit, put that on your quick bar. Lantern, we'll put that on our quick bar, okay? Okay, close it up here. There you go. I think I'm probably uh, gonna be the greatest player in the world at this game, if I had to guess. If you want to join me... Not in the game, but, you know, playing the game. Exclamation point Far World and check it out for yourself. Again, available on Steam, Xbox, and Xbox Game Pass right now as well. Harvest red berry bush. Don't mind if I do. Red berries. I feel like we should probably get to building, like, a little house or something like that. Thank you so much for the resources. Harvest tall grass. I mean, I did think about killing the chicken as well, but it's not necessary right now. How about some more berries? Thank you. Grass, that won't be necessary. Stockpile's doing great. Hey, brother, let's, let's build a house. How does that sound? Let's break this grass and we'll build us a, a little house here. Hang on. Get owned. Feathers one. Harvest dead bluebird. <laughs> put it on the <laughs> put it on the stockpile. Throw. Alright, you just just chill out there for a second. I don't know if I can eat you. He wants a weapon. I can I can see it in his eyes. He wants a weapon. Because you want a weapon, I don't feel comfortable giving you a, a weapon, okay? Because I absolute power corrupts absolutely. Give me all this stuff. I'm sure you're doing great on your stockpile, brother. Don't get me wrong. You can just take all this stuff over there. A traveler approaches from the west. Okay. I, did you bring a bed with you? A traveler approaches. Hang on. Well, buddy, you want to talk to this traveler? Where are you at? A traveler approaches. Well, unless you're... Right here, I'm not too concerned about it. One colonist is injured? Buddy, what the heck happened? I also see the sun is about to go down. I think we waited too long. Buddy, you okay? He needs a medical kit. <laughs> Buddy, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Player bleeding. Okay, for now, let's let's build ourselves a house. <laughs> um, wooden door. No, no, no. I, how about a, a wooden wall? A wooden wall, please. I believe that's from the build menu. A structure. A wooden wall. Okay, we're going to build a wooden wall like... Like this. And like this. And like this. Now, how do I build the wall myself? I have wood, so I can do it. Yo, I'm going off, dude. Best of luck to you, buddy. Okay, and then I think I gotta build like a scaffolding. I gotta build like a wooden wall. Oh, no, I can, dude. <laughs> She's crazy. She's Supergirl. I don't think I have any... Buddy, buddy, you can't kill, like, a single alien. It's a little embarrassing, okay? So I gotta give myself, like, a little door hole. But then I also need to craft um, a door. I guess I should have put it on the other side. I still could. Do I not have... I have enough wood. 
buddy be like, wow, 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 wow. Don't worry, buddy's okay. I'm just like, wait! <laughs> Brother, what's up with this alien? It's the strongest alien that's ever... Buddy, why are you even fighting it, dude? He's not even aggro. He's like, can I have some health? You're not... There's no reason for it. Buddy, come back. I gotta, like... Uh, I gotta tell him not to engage in combat. Okay, look at that. I built us a house. One player is bleeding. You are also bleeding. He's like, I'm blood. What are you doing? Buddy, chill. Go back to base. You, you. Uh, stop. Uh, is it because I told him to chop down the tree and now he's trying to chop this, a, this slug? Buddy is is dead. I would like to apply this to Buddy. Go back to base. He died. Here. Clearly, you can't be trusted. Rip, Buddy. <laughs> ah! Brother, close the damn door. Okay, any chance I could keep this dude alive? He's still got a beating heart over top of him. Let me, let me open this here. Ask Buddy about your current objective. Investigate the immediate area for a way to leave. He's an android anyway, who cares? Ask Buddy for what to do next. Start expanding into other facilities. We'll need them going forward. A furnace will be required to smelt ore. Ore can be found underground or in caves. I think he's got other problems, honestly. Um, quick bandage on myself. How about a quick bandage on Buddy? Yes! <laughs> I need to build a bed, okay? Buddy, do not go outside right now. Bed. Four wood, two cotton. One colonist has no work. No, oh, look at him. No! Oh, I thought he was going... <laughs> Thought he was going to attack the alien, man. You see how fast he, he started to run out there? A colonist is dying. A colonist is bleeding. Players bleeding. A colonist is injured. A traveler approaches. One colonist needs a bed. How about, um, how about we build another bed? How does that strike you? Look at that. Can we, do we just go to sleep? Set, yes, I will set my spawn to the wooden bed. I don't really need to eat a ration. I'm feeling okay right now. Okay. Can I sleep as well? Can I... Or, or am, am I... Am, I'm not in need of sleep. Let me look at my stockpile. I've got lots of resources in the stockpile. Um, can we get a chair in the bedroom like in Housel? Um, <laughs> not yet. Let's wait until we get a third colonist. I think that's usually when you need the chair. Now we're going to need, sure, how about a campfire um, to give us some light in the evening? And not die of carbon monoxide poisoning? Um, I guess that's what torches are for now that I think about it. Perhaps we could just build a torch instead. I believe a torch is, it requires a workbench. We're figuring it out faster than usual for me. Two, two torches required. Start player crafting. There you go. Now I have eight torches. Let's put those on your quick bar. And honestly, the base is kind of coming together already. I, 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 we can, maybe you can only place them on the ground. Oh, you can cook on a campfire too. Oh, anything interesting here? Iron ore, scrap metal parts, scrap metal, fern seeds, minerals, rubber. 
Can I cook red berries? I was just about to throw them in the trash. We can cook a baked potato. We can cook coal. What's the base? Oh, wood turns into coal. Okay. Roast meat and a simple meal requires fresh meat and a potato. So far, so good, dude. I'm, I'm chilling so far. <laughs> now, let me think about this for a second. What do we need next? At some point, we're probably going to need a furnace. Let's open our build menu and craft a, a schmelter, a research bench as well. Eight iron ore and 25 of any stone chunk. Okay, well, we're not, we're not quite ready for that yet. We need to find some minerals to mine. Whoa! What was attacking me? It's the chicken. The chicken's upset. A colonist is hungry. Camera on right side of the screen so we can see menus. Okay, you know what? Great idea. Who's hungry? Buddy must be hungry? Well, okay, we, we all get hungry while we sleep, probably. If I had to guess. I'm not concerned about a, a bat. I'm a little concerned about a bat. He's crazy. He's crazy. Okay. Minerals. What the heck is blue bird? Oh, you know what? I bet I need a butcher's table to butcher the bird. <laughs> He's crazy. Reload. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> How much ammo do I have? 42 shots. Perhaps we should become um, a pacifist for now. Just light up our base. Let's, let's clear out a little bit, man. We need to get some minerals. Give me some, give me some freaking minerals then. I'm letting Buddy sleep just for now because he's, he's had better days. Nice try. I, I own you. We need 25 of any stone. Okay. Now, what do I do? I'm a simple man. I build staircases. I, I drink and I know things. You can jump two blocks high. Very relevant intel. Dirt. Eight coal? The heck was I doing making my own coal out of precious wood? Y you can hang on an edge, dude! Okay. Granite stone. Copper ore. This is the... It's the greatest starting base of all time. It's free resources. Copper or what? It's still blowing my mind that according to the Jackbox Party Pack, copper is more rare on Earth than iron. As far as I'm concerned in all of these games, like, they lied to me. I thought iron was more rare because it comes later in the tech tree. Do we have 25 of any stone chunk? I mean, we have 122 granite. That should answer your... Question, I suppose. Buddy's still snoozing. No disrespect to Buddy. Do what you gotta do. Buddy! Buddy, take a ration, dude. I heard you were hungry. He's like, can I have a hammer? Oh, he's already, he's got his own ration. You know what? We should put our rations in the stockpile. We should probably put just about everything in the stockpile so we can actually delegate. 80 copper ore, 87 coal. Do you have any iron ore? Just give all. Yeah, there you go. All right, he's like, I, he still needs a weapon. I guess we could just put a weapon in our stockpile. Buddy, like, what are you, what are you doing? You should get a back wall on your house. It is a little drafty, I suppose. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? Step one, we're opening our build menu, and we're building a, um, a sh we're building a, Schmelter. Do we have eight iron ore? I guess we don't need to build it. We can we can make it be inside later. 
Put the smelter right there. Any chance Buddy will immediately start coming to build that? One colonist has no work. Okay. We don't have any stone chunk. We don't have any... We don't have any iron ore. Is he stuck? I don't think he's stuck. I think we just need some iron. Okay, buddy. Your new job is to... Uh, mine. And honestly, just go crazy. I will do the same. We, in, in this house, everybody works, okay? So you gotta do what you gotta do, I gotta do what I gotta do. This will probably break the torch. Oh, the torch is on the wall, even better. A traveler approaches. Could have fooled me. He's kind of going off. I, I do hate how he keeps asking for a gun, though. I made a mistake. You know what? I bet Buddy could still <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> um, hang on. Open your build menu and craft a, a wood platform. There you go. Don't say I never did nothing for you. I don't really want to go to the ice caves, though. What is this? Maybe it's not ice. Clay. Clay! So valuable these days. What is this? Iron? Nope. Yo, dude, his stats are improving. It's one of my favorite aspects of, of a colonist management game, like uh, Oxygen Not Included or RimWorld. Seeing your colonists like grow their stats, getting like the um, gains from trade that come from like getting good at something at the expense of something else. And then watching everybody die when you accidentally excavate like an alien hive that just decimates your base. Holy cow, this guy is... He's, buddy, you're missing all the iron, man. Iron Man! You ever mined something IRL? Um, I've not. That's just more copper. Son of a... I've never, I, I've never mined anything in real life. Have you? Mining plus one yet again. Jerma has. I know he did the geode stream. Only Bitcoin. All right, quit bragging. What about Chia? You never mind any Chia? Is that gold? Sulfur! Sulfur available for research. But first I need some freaking iron, dude. Raiders are sieging your base from the west. All right, time to die then. I didn't, I never built my platforms. Raiders are attacking. You can't build there. Hang on. Buddy, buddy, come out. Oh! My gun's out of bullets. Because I put my bullets in the stockpile. Go, 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 go. I don't see him. I don't see the bullets. I don't see the bullets. I think, buddy, buddy, did you take my ammo? Where are they? Where's my bullets? Right in the middle? Oh! Thank you. Okay, well, they, they can't cross into our base anyway. Buddy, you ever consider coming back to base? Reach for the sky. One colonist has no work. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Come on, lad. Get out of you! Can't you take all the resources that you gained back to the stockpile? Can I can I look at your hull? Crouch to loot. Equipment. Let me see what you got here. Nine. I don't even know what these are. Metal wires. Seven torches. A helm. Which one of these is yours? Which one of these is mine? Cotton pants. 
One of those was definitely mine. Let me open my inventory. And um, I'm going to wear the spiked hat, quite frankly. Why does it not appear on my head? <laughs> and then the steel machete can go to um, can go to the other lad. You're starving? I guess my guy or my, my person here is pretty hungry. One second here. You can hear their stomach growling. There, are there rations in the stockpile? Yes. Just take one of those. Take half of those. And give me a little eat. Yum, 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 yum. That didn't make me any... Yes, it did. It just took a second. Son of a... <laughs> okay. Can I have a shirt, please? There you go. And then... Oh, it's, I see. It's a jumpsuit. I can't put it in my normal slot. I can only put it in my visual slot. Okay. Then you go to the stockpile. Put a steel machete in here. Put, um, put your helmet in here. I mean, we might as well just put it all in there. And then we'll basically give it up to Buddy. Buddy can do what he chooses. Buddy. Buddy, come on. What do you mean one colonist has no work? How about you get a life? That's a full-time job for some people. Okay. You know what I'm going to have you do? You left your bullets back there again? Okay, listen. Be that as it may. I got stuff to do, okay? First things first. Welcome to the pit. Open your orders menu. And then cancel an order. We don't need this. And then Buddy's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well then, like, get a life, quite frankly. Buddy, do me a favor and plant some frickin' potatoes, if you got them. Right there. He's, he is moving now. He's making a move. I have tilled the ground. I mean, one potato, we could probably use more. Okay. How about plants? I don't know how many potatoes we got, but maybe zero. Cannot place here. Cannot place here. Cannot place here. Cannot place. You can't place it there. That's the thing is, you can't place it there. How about on top of our base? Can't place it there. Great location for a farm. Right over here. Okay, that looks good to me. Carrots, excuse me, some carrots. I will harvest the carrot plant. Thank you so much. And then, buddy, you should be you should be over here like planting potatoes, right? Apparently, you can also disassemble your crash pod. First, let me get some bullets so I'm not caught unawares ever again. And you know what? I think Buddy's like, I don't know how to get back to the base. And I respect that because that's the, our, our enemies also didn't know how to get into the base. One colonist has no work. It's simple. We're going to make you a, a wooden platform here, here, and here so that you can actually get to the base. Yay! Okay. Look, at he's, he's bringing potatoes. He's like, yes, yes, yes. Finally. I would love to break this plant. It just doesn't look right there. Collect wood. He's building the smelter for us! Let's go! I'll till the ground or whatever. I'll plant the seed. I'll till the ground and I'll plant this. I don't know how many potato seeds we got, but let's get it going. Buddy is actually the MVP. I was so, like, uh, I, I misjudged him. It takes two, baby. My farming has improved plus one. I don't, I don't know if I can till anymore. Oh, I can. Here, you, you have my, my help here. This is looking kind of cozy now. Buddy's a little bit like Michael Fassbender in all the Alien movies. I sure hope he doesn't betray me and plant like an alien embryo inside of me and then place me in cryo sleep and fly back to Earth in order to placate his corporate overlords. All right, buddy, you can just go to sleep, brother. It's nighttime. 
How many potato seeds we got? We got some tall grass. We got a salve. This is not enough potatoes. I've, I've seen um, the Martian, and I will tell you, I don't think this is enough potatoes for us. Next step, is, is our smelter fully, bu fully built? If we smelt enough iron, we can make a research table and research sulfur. How many potatoes could two people need? I'm going to say that the answer is... Five potatoes a day per person. That's just my prediction. And I don't know how long potatoes take to grow. I'm going to say it takes months for a single potato to grow. Did you know, by the way, potatoes... Like a, a cooked potato... Plus butter actually provides all of the essential amino acids you need. Little known fact. Clear this, please. Thank you. Clear this. Thank you so much. I didn't say all nutrients, all, all amino acids. I don't know. I don't know the delineation between the two. Okay, you're going to sleep. Pathetic. Let's put some torches down so our potatoes grow at night. And then I'm like, close the damn door, knob! Oh, buddy, get up! You're fine. Can I sleep too? One colonist is injured. He'll be okay. Buddy's a machine. Brother, I'm scared. <laughs> I got an idea. I think that we should we should make a second floor to our base. I hope he, he, he's a heavy sleeper, because I'm building a wooden platform right here. Then I'm busting through the top. And then I'm making more wooden walls. I don't know how much wood I got in my inventory, but we need a second floor to our base. Toot sweet. Apollo would already be off the planet by now, but I'm not going to necessarily compare myself to him. You know, we're different individuals. Let's start with this wall. Dude, let's go. Little, little tight on the second floor, but that's life. Also, my, my torches have run out. My campfire ran out. Do I not have any wood? Collect wood, collect wood. I have no wood. Well, you know what? Got a torch. There you go. I don't, I don't want any monsters spawning while I'm building. A colonist is hungry. It's all right, we got like 20 rations left in the stockpile. If he's hungry enough, he'll wake up, I'm sure. I'm just scared I don't want to go out there to my own stockpile and have to fight like this badger. Oh! Don't worry, buddy. I got you. Okay. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> I would like to get some more wood. Thank you. And then I would like to build a butcher's table. Maybe we should get that queued up, like, right away. Can I get a butcher's table, please? Only takes 12 wood. Build that right there. This can be our slaughterhouse on the second floor. I'll build some wooden walls. Uh, don't let that weird dragon into our house, please. I guess I'll build it. I don't know. I don't know what Buddy's doing, honestly. Is he trying to kill this raccoon? I didn't even. Uh, is the raccoon even like a priority for us? I'm a little bit more worried about the hydralisks. We're going in. We broke my door! I broke my door! Build another door, dude. 
Not tab, L. Dormy? Way to go, brother. Way to go. Now you now you got the aliens mad at us. I gotta take some of the aggro off of Buddy. He's trying to sleep, dude! Get a clue! Buddy's just trying to take a nap! Close the damn door! Oh my god, okay. I Listen, put the gun away. Can I... I'd like to haul the dead snake up to the butcher's table, please. It's getting mighty cold out here. It's minus 16. Probably doesn't bode well for my potatoes. Okay, at the butcher's bench, let's butcher a creature. No workable order. I have a corpse here, though. I would like to butcher this corpse. Needed. Corpse one. Did I do it? Do I have it? In, I do have it in my inventory now. I have snake meat and an animal hide. And what happened to the raccoon? Excuse me, I'd like to get this raccoon. It's going to be a mighty cold winter. You're freezing to death. It says we need shelter. I'm in shelter! I'm in shelter! Build me... Um, what, what does a back wall look like? Wooden wall. But these are like... How do you build a background? There's a background option. Okay, okay. Sorry, we can do this. Backgrounds. Excuse me? Why don't we just build a fire then? Buddy, come over by the fire. You click the wall and then hit background. Ah, wall? Wooden wall? Background. Oh, this changes everything. The balance of power in the Far World Pioneers universe will never be the same. This is why in all these like colony management games, you build like your first colony, and then right after that, things go wrong in five seconds. You go, I'll never do that again. I'm gonna build another colony, but this time it's gonna be perfect. And then you get a little bit further, and then you make a mistake. And you go, I'm gonna build a new colony, and it'll, it'll, it'll be perfect this time, and you just repeat it forever. Have Buddy help build? Get to work, man! See if I care! Okay, it's only minus two inside. We're, we're kind of feeling great here. Okay. We're still a little cold, don't get me wrong. Can I get a quick, uh, a new build order, please? We'll build walls. Wooden walls in the background. And then let's, let's see if we could expedite this. Buddy, would you be so kind as to help us? I think he's decided that he just doesn't want to work these days. I think the issue is you have all the wood. Ah, uh, dude, honestly, then you should just take a snooze. See if I care. My screen is turning into ice. You see his icing up on the side? Here, just build these walls. Minus four inside? Like, that's no big deal. Now we're chilling. Buddy, come come hang by the fire with us. Two degrees Celsius. It's above zero. Sanest Canadian. Buddy doesn't care. Oh, I'm cold. I'm cold. Then, then get over here, man. Buddy, your health bar. <laughs> what do you mean I need shelter? I'm I'm in shelter. 
Buddy, I'm going to have to disassemble your bed. NL, your health bar? Oh, yeah. You're not wrong, huh? But I got to go out into the stockpile to get our medicals. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, save and quit me for now, and then we'll start a new colony, and this time we're going to do better. By the way, this is Far World Pioneers. It's out on Game Pass today, as well as PC via Steam and Xbox. Exclamation point, Far World. Check it out for yourself. We're going to do better this time. Quit to DOS. Yes, I, I run DOS. We're going to dismiss the tutorial this time. It's, it's the only operating system I can rely on, okay? So tab. Buddy, do me a favor. You're going to cut and chop like crazy, all right? You're going to clear out like this whole area right here. That's going to be our house. And then after you finish that, you're going to do the exact same thing right there, okay? We're going to go here. We're going to take all. What do you got? Some seeds, rations, okay. Next step. Oh, do it. And look at this. Actually, living underground makes a lot of sense, actually. It's not a bad idea. We, we could make our own cave. I have, a, I have an idea. We'll make a stockpile on the surface. We'll live underground. We have like a half a... No, we have a whole day to get ourselves ready to go. Love to see it. Need colony stockpile. One colonist needs a bed. Brother, you already chopped that down. You're a, you're a menace to society here. Okay, next, next step, buddy. We're going to build a stockpile. And you can just put it right there for now. And just be, honestly go nuts. Don't stop till you're numb. Can you make it out of there? I'm going to need some wood. Let me just grab this for now. Let me just get some wood. It's going to be a little bit claustrophobic, but that's okay. Next step, build some wooden platforms. Here and here. There you go. Now we can escape. Now. <laughs> Think... Just make the step one of the base right here. A little space for a door. It's going to be a little claustrophobic in here. You know what? We got to go like one tile higher inside. Come on. Give yourself a little door jam. Buddy's all done. Buddy is not all done. What is he? Oh, he's gathering the stuff to put in the stockpile. Thank you. What's Buddy doing? Buddy, look at him. He's hauling freaking logs over his head, dude. He's, he's loving life. He's doing great work. You don't, don't concern yourself with Buddy. Buddy's just living life right now. Okay, the sun is not even at midday yet. You're doing the bunker building from all the mobile game ads? No, I'm not. I'm building a... a iron! I'm building a, a, a stable base for two... Adults who are friends, but they were roommates to live in, okay? We're doing just fine. Buddy is now... No, he's still getting resources. Okay, great job, buddy. Let's, um, let me craft a, a workbench, please. And honestly, I see no reason the workbench couldn't just be here for now. Great stuff. Having built the workbench, what's the next step? Go to the workbench, build some torches. That gives us four torches. That gives us eight torches. Let's get some torches run in here. I love that Buddy has to traverse the pit every time. Buddy is... Goaded at agility, okay? He's got 99 agility in RuneScape. I'm going to make some wooden platforms so he doesn't have to jump over the pit every time. But not yet. He hasn't earned it yet. Now look at this. This is a much better base. 
It's 44 degrees Celsius down here. It's a little warm, maybe, some pe for some people at least. For me, it's not so bad. Because I'm uh, a lizard. Let me get a bed, please. Take a quick wooden bed. Do I have any cotton? Good question. We're going to sleep one space apart because we're roommates. You can't, you can't build there. Why not? Why not, though? Because right, I don't have any cotton. That's the answer to your question. Okay, next step. Platform. Buddy, feel free to help me out on the building here if you so desire. If you don't desire, that's fine too. He's building the beds for me! He's insane! I don't have any wood. Well, you know what? I guess our stockpile is probably... No, it's not full. There's just wood next to it for some reason. Dude, Buddy's kind of crazy with it. What do we got in here? 98 wood? Give me half a stack of that. Put it in my inventory. And this is a much better start than, than last time. Okay, so break your, your pod. We got some scrap metal parts. Got some worms up here. I do think we should protect this the stockpile. There are 20 ammo! Some carrots. Some carrots. Let's protect this stockpile by building some wooden walls around it. I remember. And the stockpile only needs... One door. No sweat. Kill the traveler for loot. Okay, listen. We'll see what he's packing, okay? Also, we'll see if the traveler even makes it here. I feel like last time the traveler just like... I mean, he probably saw how messed up my base was and just decided like, you know, this guy's not in a position to be buying anything from me, which is completely fair. And then, because I'm not an idiot this time, we're going to build wooden walls and we're going to make them the background. And we're just going to set it up thusly. Look at, dude, buddy is actually a huge help too. Did we get it all? I think we got it all. And how about a little, how about a little torch? Can't place one. You know what? Just to scare off the bats. You stay away from me. Okay. Another great part about this, buddy, while we're here, I understand. What do you mean colony has no food? Oh, I know why. Because <laughs> there's no food. Let me, let me give all to the stockpile, but I'll take the wood for myself for now. Now there's food. You, you can slide. You see that? I did not give all, by the way. Hang on. I need ammo, too. What do you mean colony has no food? Now colony has food. Okay, close it up. Next step. Close the door. All right, buddy. We're going we're gonna to mine out around our base, okay? So you are going to get to work on... Not cutting and chopping, sorry. You're going to get to work on mining right here don't stop till you're numb and i'm gonna start building beneath us so we can expand a little bit ah, i told you it was gonna go a little better this time and the other amazing part about this is in our meantime oh he's gonna take that to the he's gonna take that to the stockpile that's gonna be risky overnight brother <laughs> but by all means, go ahead. Um, the other great part about this is that we're going to gain so much mining ability from spending all night in the caves. You know what? You're, what about a tunnel to the stockpile? I love that idea. Or we could just move it inside. It's probably a lot easier. Buddy, you're so slow. Oh, I guess he's doing three wide, though. He's smarter than me. 
Why, hello, buddy. Where are the potatoes? Um, we had to abandon our last mission because we died, which didn't end our campaign, but I f was embarrassed. So I started again. Mining plus one. You think you're better than me? I won't dig straight down. Don't worry, okay? I've, I've been playing Minecraft since you were knee-high to a grasshopper. You got nothing to worry about. I do think I should probably put some light down somewhere, though. Oh, I don't have any. Okay. 20 degrees inside? That's, that's nice. Nice 20 degrees. Let's craft some torches, please. A little bit of facility storage for you. Give me a torch right here. And then break this and go down one more. Okay. And now we got like a, a six second floor, man, with a little dirt staircase so Buddy can still get to the stockpile. Now, once we make it through night one, night one's all about survival, okay? Night two is about advancing the tech tree. Or day two is about advancing the tech tree. Are there ladders? Listen, if you love ladders so much, feel free to marry ladders. I'm more of a platform guy myself. Everybody's different. I don't like how Buddy keeps, like, stepping down here to see how I'm doing. You don't have to worry about how I'm doing, brother. You worry about how you're doing, okay? I'm doing just fine. You got nothing to concern yourself with. And we got quite a base going here. Let's let's make sure this is like set up symmetrically just so people don't go like, oh, I literally can't watch this. Okay, break the torch and walk away. Break this torch. Walk away. Put another torch right here. <sighs> what have I done? Buddy, buddy, get down here. It's nighttime, dude. I can't put it there because there's a bed there. I see. We'll break the bed. Walk away. Break the bed. Walk away. He likes it up there. Brother, you left the door open. It's, it's 43 degrees Celsius. It's 16 degrees Celsius. That's actually a pretty nice sleeping temperature, to be honest with you. Okay, I'll set my spawn point. Buddy, you can take the other bed. I'm going to break our workbench. And move it inside. And then at the workbench, I'm going to produce um, a trap door. And I'm going to build a, a pit with punji sticks. So all monsters will fall in. Crude pickaxe. Mining pickaxe. No, no, no. We want to build weapons. A steel machete. I want to build a... We don't even need that. Maybe we'll just build it like right here. Build a smelter. We need a smelter. Low tech. 8 iron ore, 25 of any stone chunk. Is it okay that it doesn't have like any place to vent the exhaust? Like, is that going to kill us in, in a day? You sure you want that inside? Dude, we put it right under the bed. We call that uh, baseboard heating. These <laughs> vents into the beds. Oh, man. Okay. What should we, what should we do here? We should smelt some... Um, steel is smelted from iron. How about that? Okay. Well, let's... The thing is, I don't know how much of anything I got. We got, we got a bunch of iron ore. Maybe I could kill this from my, my order menu. If you could smell... You, can, I, can I just uh, make some steel ingots? I can make like eight steel ingots. 
Do I have to place something inside of you? Maybe I have to place 72 of these in facility stuff. Oh! Okay. Oh, stay away from the lava. I mean, we already surpassed our previous colony. How embarrassing is that? Okay, you have you've smelted seven steel ingots, which then allows us to produce a research bench. Oh, but a research bench needs some power. Okay, duly noted. Takes a minute here, but that's okay. Is this hardcore mode? No, not yet. I'm probably the best player in the world, but we need some time to prove it or whatever. Um, view research bench bills. It costs us 250 watts per minute. New project. We need to research sulfur, but we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some power generation to do that, of course. Next step. Could we also build like a kitchen? And let me get a kitchen going on the second floor. Just pop that down right there. No problem, buddy. You go ahead and, and sleep. I'll build out our whole freaking life here. Don't worry about it. Okay, now that we're in the kitchen. We can make a baked potato. We can make some honey. We can make some roast meat. Make some simple meals. Understood. Understood. Let me go ahead back to the smelter here. I should just put like all ores in this. We got granite, copper. Throw some copper in there and then add copper ingots. Sulfur. We need to research sulfur. We need to generate power. How do we do, look at this? Steam generator requires 10 steel ingots. Okay, so we need we need steel, which means we need iron. Buddy, I hope you enjoyed the mines, brother, because we're going right back. Now, what's the next step? We need the... Oh, it's morning time. We survived till the morning. Everybody go get a ration. It's, it's shared breakfast. Shared breakfast. Let's have breakfast together. Don't worry about those guys. I would like to take one ration, please. I would like to take five rations, please. Don't worry. I'm good for it. I'll pace myself. Wait for it to digest. Those aliens can stay over there as far as I'm concerned. What the heck? Buddy's doing research? Does he generate his own power? Oh, brother, keep it up. Don't let me stop you. But here's what I'm thinking. We should actually do me a favor, okay? He's insane. He is an android. Let's make a, a stone wall. Right here. Why not? Oh, because I'm, I'm on the background. Place a stone wall on the foreground. It can't be done. It can be done. I don't know what I've done here. Maybe because I'm making it out of cobblestone. I'd like to cancel that order. How are you doing? Holy cow, he's going to finish... He's going to finish discovering sulfur before I finish... Uh, building a single wall. I'm thinking sense, of, sense and sensibility here. What do you do? Some of this, and then we build it ourselves. Buddy has actually cleared us now. Do me a favor and build two doors for symmetry's sake. He's actually almost done. It's crazy. I should give him the gun, too. But what if he becomes so strong that he no longer needs me? And then, I'm gonna build my... Oh, the doors. I don't like the way I set up these doors. I'm gonna put a research stockpile... A resource stockpile right here. Never mind, I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> oh, we'll do something with this room later. And is there a way I could manage this stockpile? And can I make it like... Um, I want it to just be for, like, ores. 
This could be our ore stockpile. That way, Buddy will just grab the resources and drop them right here. Research unlocked sulfur. Research unlocked batteries. Okay. You should put minerals on there as well. Makes perfect sense. Okay, Buddy, you're going back to the mines. Keep up the great work, brother. I need iron ore. So guess what? I am also going back to the mines. Is this iron? No. Chance we could get some iron? No iron for me. He does always ask for the gun, which I think is very funny. You keep eating your rations? Oh my god, I did eat... I ate so many rations. I'm like Milhouse in the Simpsons Lord of the Flies episode. What have I done? I gotta take it off my quick bar, man. I can't be trusted. Is he done? How did you mine that so fast? Life pod crashed nearby. Dude, dude, dude. A life pod is crashed to the west. Okay, buddy. Um, you're, don't stop mining till I come back, okay? Squeeb. Oh, sorry. I'll close the door. I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. You never know, it could be a new colonist. I don't care for the birds. I have no quarrel with the birds. Oh! <laughs> I have no quarrel with you. I have no quarrel with you guys. Life pod has crashed to the west. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. I don't care for the rats. I don't have any problem with the rats. It's approximately midday. I'm also harvesting berries while we go. I should probably chop some wood, you know, wood is always... Two potatoes as well. Miguel! Hello, Miguel. I'd like to speak to you first. Careful, I have a pickaxe and I know how to use it. Join us. Miguel has joined the colony. Cameron. F colonist has no work. Okay, I understand. Cameron, join us 100%. Done. Now, let me look in your crash pod here. Canned stew and some potatoes. We take all. We bust you. We're going to get some more wood because we're going to need some more beds. We also need to cook some food today. I could become the designated chef. You could just turn this into plate up. You could have everybody else like doing work for you while you just cook them delicious meals in the kitchen. How are you going to feed them? Brother, I got 60 bullets. Start murdering some hedgehogs. Get a butcher's table going. We're off to the races. We got a stew going. It does have multiplayer, by the way. You don't have to just play this single player like a total loser like me. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna cut down like a baby tree. Only fully grown trees, please. It's a good time to mention this is Far World Pioneers. Thank you again to Tiny Build for the sponsorship. I'm having a great time. It came out today. Steam, Xbox, Xbox Game Pass. Check it out for yourself. Exclamation point Far World. Or just look in uh, the video description. You can find a link that you can click for yourself. Get more information about the game or pick it up for yourself. You got carrots and blueberries back there? I'm not in a position to be sarcastic. I will, I will go get the blueberries. Which are, is actually corn, but that might even be better. Pine nut, so true, which is a town, but is also a nut. Donkey, donkey, donkey. Dude, let me uh, 
give you a little anecdote here. My daughter's been a very picky eater for like eight months. She hates to eat almost all vegetables and she only likes like a couple fruits. Guess what? Turns out this whole time, she loves soup. I asked her like a week ago, I was like, what do you want for dinner? She said, soup. I said, you like soup? She said, yeah, I like soup. I had no idea. Got her like a, a chicken noodle soup with vegetables in it. She went crazy for it. And you know what she said? She said, can I have it without the noodles? Just with the vegetables. Blew me away, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her soup for dinner every night. We were feeding her like Eggo waffles. And then like just trying to like, like, please eat some blueberries alongside it as well. This is a, a huge improvement for us. Expect explosive poops? Brother, what is what is wrong with your digestive system? It's soup. Buddy, are you okay? <laughs> Buddy? Cameron? You guys okay? Uh Okay, hang on. I got an idea. How about a how about I put a wooden wall down? <laughs> no. Uh oh. I think they might be, uh, they might be stuck. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make, um, some beds for you. It's almost nighttime. Some beds, a wooden bed. Do I not have enough wood to build it for you? Uh, maybe because I'm holding a torch? Oh, I don't have any cotton. So, excuse me? Cotton? What the heck is that? Did you hear that? Seven cotton. Oh, then stop going over there, Miguel! He keeps getting surprised by the, the enemies over there. Okay, one colonist needs bed. We build bed. Collect wood. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now let's try to get... Uh, let me, you know what would be a good thing to do? Maybe it's a great time to build us a ladder. We'll make it out of wood. Because it's the cheapest resource. And then in doing this, perhaps you guys can leave the mine. This might be like a, a sign out, sign back in situation right here. While we're here for now, though, why don't you go ahead and build me like another ladder? If you can get them to follow you a few steps away, they will reset. Okay, noted, noted, saved and noted. Now if you could just... Almost nighttime here. I'm gonna I'm gonna let that be fine. Buddy speak it's getting quite cold. Follow me, please. Cameron. Cameron, follow me. Okay. And then let's let's close this door up. We gotta survive through the No, don't go outside. Go Okay, stop stop following me. We've saved you. Okay. You guys can keep mining if you want. You can go to sleep. I'm not I'm not pressed about it either way. Get some torches out. Drop them in here. Tar is now available for research. We got the Lydia. We will give everything to the stockpile that the stockpile can take. I like how it only took our resources and ores. I appreciate that. Dude, we're doing so much better than last time. Get your boy Miguel. What's wrong with Miguel? One Colin is bleeding. Miguel, where are you going? He's bringing stuff to the other stockpile. He's getting spooked. Cameron, what are you doing? I know what we gotta do. We gotta build like a real stockpile down here. And then make this stockpile like low priority. Okay, you're doing great with the mining though. Here's what I'm gonna say. How about somebody comes over to the research bench? Let's research... Um, 
Let's research batteries. Let's research tar. Bring this to a research bench. Okay. Miguel, please come back. I'm simply going to build a place for a stockpile because I'm a smart guy. And this will be a stockpile for everything and we'll deprioritize our other stockpile. We can move everything from one to the other. Malf and Sips would eat this up. Dude, like every game I play, I'm like, holy cow, this is like a perfect Malf and Sips game. They have a very particular set of tastes for sure. Now, can we build a little resource, resource stockpile right? Ooh, don't mind if I do. And then, get out of my face. This stockpile, take all, manage options, priority zero. Okay, I'd just like to de destroy it, actually. And we just have like a little shed here. No one's ever mad about having a shed. Brother, stop attacking the stuff. It's not necessary. Go, go into the base! <laughs> There's no need! Honestly, maybe it's better that you're going down. I'm not, I'm not letting Buddy go down like that, though. Holy cow. World's weakest alien? Maybe it's better that you're dead. No disrespect or whatever. Miguel, you're like freezing to death. There's a buddy. Come on, man. <laughs> this is the strongest alien I've ever seen in my life. Plus, I just ruined my base, you jerk. Thanks to you, I just ruined my base. I, I shot a hole in my stone roof. Now the slug is in the bedroom. Fantastic. All because you guys just couldn't go to sleep. Now you got a freaking skylight. I can't build it because Buddy's deceased legs are in the way. Get out of here. Go, go low, go low. I can't, I can't take him down, man. You are too far to haul that. Miguel is also dying? You reap what you freaking sow in this world. This thing's gotta be close to death, right? It's the strongest alien that's ever existed. Miguel, no! He's in the damn walls. I feel like I should just like close him in, man. Whoa! This is the strongest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to town on it. For the love of God. The silkworms are immune to damage? What can I to get me out of here, man? Okay, Miguel. He's a polymath. Get go to the bed. Okay, Cameron. I'm just gonna save you. With a medical kit. I have medical kits. They all went so wrong so fast. Welcome back to Alive. Miguel, welcome back to Alive. Okay, well you gotta... <laughs> guys, guys, what, what are you doing? Don't go out there. Come back to the base. Okay, if you want this smoke, then go get this smoke. I have to close off 
this, uh, this slug. Otherwise, <laughs> Buddy's been consumed as well, okay? Um, and now we're, we're all going to freeze to death. Okay, how about this? Give me a wall. And this, it can just be like a little pet for us. I don't know what we're gonna do about Buddy. I guess I guess I got an idea. It's gonna be something like this, okay? Buddy? I'm insane. I'm the greatest gamer of all time. Oh my god, Cameron's in there too. Okay, um, Buddy, you get healed. Well, joke's on you. I only had one med kit anyway, so... And nothing's in the stockpile. Close the door. Let's get a oh, medical kit. Medical kit. Okay, Cameron. Let me let me look at this for a second. We have no medicals left. We can craft a med kit using a, a salve in our inventory. Buddy and Miguel are in trouble. Miguel, hey Miguel. Why don't you just Why don't you just come back to the base, my man? You're just, I mean, you're standing out there in a blizzard. He's reaching true despair. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Um, let me use my, my kitchen to craft a medical kit. We can't do that yet. Let me use my workbench to craft a medical kit. Simple med kit. Takes a minute. Miguel's chilling. Okay, next step. Buddy, what? <laughs> what's your problem? You're hungry? I gotta manage absolutely everybody? Why don't you get a life? Do something for yourself. There you go. I fed Buddy. He fell over and died. <laughs> okay, first medical kit goes to Buddy. Miguel has lived. How's Cameron doing? Do I have torches in my inventory? Yes, I do. I can't see. I think Cameron got eaten, man. I think Cameron's body has been digested by the slug. And then what's, what's your issue? Probably that the colony has no food. Let's give everything to this stockpile and see if this it reverts their behavior a little bit. He's got bad Wi-Fi. I could also use uh, like a little food myself, just for the record. Two colonists are dying. Miguel has passed out. Okay, that's fine. Just eat a quick ration. And then I'm going to go back to my workbench. I'm going to craft a simple medical kit. And then we're going to drop this medical kit on Miguel. And we're, we're, did I not take it out of the storage? I bet I left it in the storage. Okay. Then he's back. You guys just feel free. I, you know what? I, I'll just make another medical kit for you if you're dying. Maybe I'll just make several medical kits right now. Why don't we just make eight of them while we're here? And then I can just... Give them this until they feel good, and then we're ready to go. Cancel the mining order? Well, I don't understand, like, um, how are they dying from mining? Don't they yearn for it? It's mostly, like, the, everything was completely fine until the slug got up in our face. And Miguel just has a little bit of wanderlust. That's, you know, it happens. Buddy is, he's, he's dead again. Okay, come back to life. Buddy is low on health. Take a little more. I mean, these are not great medical kits. I appreciate what you've done for us here. How you doing, Miguel? Miguel's health is actually looking pretty good. Buddy just went to sleep. You know what? Take a little bit more health. He'll be okay. 
and then cancel this mine order. Okay, and now we're back. We're back. We're back to the to the races. Now, one colonist is injured. Life pod crash nearby. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm ready for um, more colonists right now. Miguel has achieved despair. Here's the guys. We need a morale boosting meal. Okay. I know exactly what I must do. I'm going to save the colony. Put this in here. Build yourself a workbench. Or go to, go to your workbench. Build yourself a butcher's table. Should probably put it close to the kitchen if I had to guess. And we're, we're eating good tonight. Just need to make a little space here. That's fine. Feels good to be back to, to mining. Give me... Torch, torch me. Torch me. We have no wood. Okay. Well, just build it. If you build it, they will come. I've heard this before. Give me a butcher's table. It requires 12 wood. I see the problem here. Psycho mining. The colonists can't get down there. Brother, the colonist can get here. He just has no work right now. I don't know what Miguel's job is. Miguel's job right now is freezing to death. 203 wood for me because they can't be trusted with it. It's really... it's Miguel, you could just easily be down here if you want to be, okay? He's like, I'm cold. No kidding. Okay, well, guess, guess what, brother? If you're cold, do me a favor. Why don't you all come in and do some mining instead? Instead of just waiting out there to freeze to death. Like, if you freeze to death, you're going on the butcher's table next. One colonist is freezing. Okay. He's like, hey, health? Anyone got any health? This is like we're back at the Team Unity PUBG days. You, Miguel, follow me, please. Polymath. Self-described polymath. Come on down, brother. I'm right here. Okay, come on in. Let's Step one, don't freeze to death. Step two, stop following me and do some mining. Or do, do some research. You could do some research, that's fine too. They can't get across the gap. Ah, okay, okay. Now we're talking. See, that's something I can work with here. Look at, dude, they're so eager. There was an accessibility issue, okay. Now they're like, look, they're, they're making medicine and stuff. Miguel? I think he was trying to save... Uh, he's trying to save Cameron. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 he's back, he's back. I think he's... Oh, you know what, he's making medical kits. Okay, I, I see what he's doing. No slugs, please. A slug is a guy who thinks he's fly. Okay, I will butcher this corpse, please. That has given us bluebird meat. Not much of it, though. And then, take me to the kitchen. Oh, can I make a roast meat out of a fresh meat? Holy cow, he's done it. One roasted meat. All that for one roasted meat. Can you believe it? Buddy's doing some research. Look, dude, the colony is... We're right back in it. Give all here, okay? Just put some more food in there. Oh, man. Miguel's like, I'm cold. You do, you immediately taking my chicken? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. All right, I think I should be out here. Why can't you mine through this? Get a clue? I think I should be on food duty, and then I should just tell them to do some mining. Life pod has crashed. Hang on, let me get torches, please. Can't make a torch. 
Head to the workbench. My sandwich. It's a good idea. Like, I thought I was being smart by making my base underground. But in reality... Oh, I think I left it in the workbench. He probably took all my torches and put them in the stockpile now. That's not the... That's the workbench, yes. Okay. I feel like... My torches, thank you. My torches. We should make a base above ground and make it one tile tall. Like off the ground so that the slugs can't just get in. Then we don't have to worry about slugs. I still don't know why they can't mine that out though. But I think I should be on like hunting duty. Just for the love of God, do not let the slugs into the base. I got no problem, you know, with a hydralisk. You know what? But I'm not messing around with the slugs. Unknown crystal has been found. Let me guess. I've dropped all my ammo in the stockpile. You know what I bet you could do? I bet you could make like a... Um, just a pit that all the animals walk into. And then you could just throw like a grenade on it. <laughs> and then it's... Then it's over. Eight snake meat. Holy cow. Put that snake meat in the facility storage and make me some roasted meat. Eight roasted meats, maybe? Am I crazy or are we about to be eating good? It's taken a long time, I'll admit, but... Oh, it works! Okay, everybody's going to be very... We, we completely pulled this back. Now, it did require us sacrificing uh, one of our members to the, the slug, and then their body was turned into dirt. But, like, you need dirt. How do you think that dirt got there in the first place? Are you cooking? I think he's cooking, man. Well, in that case, I don't mind mining. And we'll have to, we'll wait till daytime to talk about this life pod situation. Last life pod screwed up our base a little. Maybe their tools broke. Oh, something I didn't think about. You got a slug in your basement? The slug lives there. That now belongs to the slug. You know what's nice though? I think the slug actually like, um... I think it mines a little bit. I don't know if it can mine through all resources, but... Like, it seemed to be eaten through dirt, at least. Nah, he's just chilling. <laughs> just light it up down here a little bit, and then, um... How about we get a little, like, another mining order out here? You know what, did we... Don't don't look at the slug, okay? He's minding his own business. You mind your own business too. You should be making some more copper ingots. And then clay, you can make clay bricks. Why not? Two. How many how much clay we got? 79. This is all stuff you can just move into the stockpile. I think we should just set the, all the orders to repeat. That makes sense to me. Like, this should be on infinite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clay bricks should be on infinite. As long as you've got the resource for it. Just give it a second here. Okay, we got a... Infinite. Infinite. There we go. And then copper should be on infinite. And now we've actually got... You've made a paperclip machine? I understood that reference. We got bricks now, brother! We got bricks! Look at this! Okay, now now we need some power, right? Everybody's everybody's happy now? We just need some power? Because we can't... Oh, you, someone was doing some research. They were researching tar. So let me... We, we, I can't believe we got back on track. I honestly thought for a minute it might be over for us. We need to make a, a generator. A generator. A generator. 
A steam generator will cost us 10 steel ingots. Should be close to the things we need to power. We need 10 steel ingots. I'm going to assume we don't have 10 steel ingots. We do have a thousand granite. That's pretty sick. Do we have any ingots? I guess they automatically go into the storage here. So no. We need as much iron as possible. We're so back. You all right, brother? He's dreaming about a hamburger right now. Here, follow me. Okay, now he's my best friend. Don't make fun of Buddy. He's my best friend. Stop following me. <laughs> She's dreaming about a hamburger. <laughs> we need iron. What's Buddy's problem? Wait, it looks like he's about to... Oh, Colin is just hungry? Bro, we got so much roast chicken now. Nobody should ever go hungry in this colony ever again. It's not chicken, I guess. It's, it's snake. He's got burger brain. He wants a burger. Bro, we're in outer space. You can't have anything out here. Like, you just gotta... You gotta take what you can get out here. You ever see The Martian? The dude who's eating potatoes for like 10 years. You know what his reward was? Didn't he have to do like a slingshot maneuver in outer space or something like that? You graduate from 8th grade, your parents take you to Red Lobster. You land on Mars, congratulations, you're dead. Don't talk to me about the torches, okay? We got bigger problems now. I need iron. Iron. I see coal. Nothing wrong with coal, I suppose. The Martian was based on a true story, too. I read that, actually. I bet that's one of the, If you Google the Martian, I bet one of the AI suggested searches is like, is the Martian based on a true story? Iron ore! Like when I Googled Andy Griffith. How long was Andy Griffith dead when they buried him? Who was Andy Griffith when he died? You hear that? I'm getting the feeling I might be mining either too deep or too greedily. I'm not even acknowledging that a colonist is hungry right now, okay? And the reason is... They should be able to feed themselves. We have so much roasted snake just chilling right now. What is this? It's just more copper. More iron, more iron. I mean, this is, who needs colonists, man? I'll do everything. You're the hungry one? Oh yeah. Well, listen, it's called intermittent fasting. I'm a big believer in intermittent fasting. I'm on a 16-8 intermittent fasting schedule right now. I, uh, from the time that I wake up to the time that I go to bed, I eat whatever I want, and then I starve myself for eight hours. I don't think you should mind this anymore. That's, that's my fault for not getting it done fast enough. I'm sure you can come back, though. Take me to the stockpile. Can I get, uh, I want to see some chicken. Thank you. Roasted meat. It does not help my hunger out as much as I thought it would. Did he just take fall damage? Did he die in the... Did he die in the mines down here? Buddy, what are you doing? Buddy! <laughs> oh, man. He's just making it... He's just yeeting himself off the cliff, man. Okay, let's uh, let's build a ladder so he's compelled to take the ladder instead. Do you hear that? How'd you get up there? And what are you doing, bro? Don't don't mess around with the slug. Just just go die, and I'll get you. Okay. No ammo. Okay. Ammo, please. 
Give all, and then give me my ammo back. Now, we need iron. What happened to the trap plan? I mean, we had a lot of stuff to do. I wish you would cut me some freaking slack. Scrap metal. Where's my iron ore? Radiohead voice. My iron ore. Dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm talking about? Great album. The Benz. Radiohead's best album. People aren't ready for that one yet. Granite. Scrap metal. I don't think we have anything to do with scrap metal right now. Okay, we need 10 steel ingots. And then we can start generating some power. Buddy has died. Buddy knows what he got himself into, okay? It's going to take a hundred years to move. We, we need to look at this order. Move this down in the priority queue, please. And then do this instead. I'm going to delete this clay brick order for a second. Do I not have enough iron? I don't have enough iron! Oh, I got enough in my inventory. Okay. Bro, just build a ladder? We need the, whole, the whole place is ladders, man. It's his fault for, <laughs> for jumping down the pit over and over. Hang on. Do I have any... I do have salves. Make a simple med kit real quick. Oh, man. He keeps tripping off the edge. He, he's got to... He's got to clean his own mirror, okay? I mean, I'm... You know what? Stay dead for like a minute. I'm going to build some wooden platforms. I resent having to do it. A traveler approaches from the east. Okay, I got I got no wood. That's fine. Miguel is kind of cracked at research. That's for sure. Buddy's also freezing to death. Miguel, not you too. After everything we've been through. <laughs> There we go. Saved, saved. My man's doing, like, he's going tenant mode. Simple medical kit. Yeet. He's still dead. I'll go, I'll go make two more for you. Here come two more for y'all. He is going headboard mode. Raiders are sieging your base from the east. Honestly, as far as I'm concerned, they can have it. <laughs> Here they come. Thanks for the meat, brother. Oh, they're... Buddy, buddy, wake up! He's still dead. Yeah, yeah, the slug. Go to town on the slug. Okay, do we have any salves in here? No salves? Well... I imagine any minute... Oh, no! He made it! <laughs> hey, uh, hey, uh. Hang on, I'm gonna eat some chicken real quick. Dude, can the slug fight back a little bit? Let's go! Okay, Miguel, Miguel, no! Miguel, there's no reason for it! Here, let me uh, go to the research bench. Just uh, go research batteries, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. bring some copper back. Just, just chill, everything's okay. <laughs> I'm losing it, man. Oh, this is so good. I don't even want to waste the ammo.
Hey, I'm not going up there. <laughs> I'm not going up there. <laughs> Say your prayers. Oh, one second. Hey, 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 hey. Say your prayers. Oh, no, I threw the gun to the slug. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's worth, worth, okay. What do you got on you? Well, certainly take all that. Ooh, six currency? Don't mind if I do. Twelve iron ingots. A rebreather. Oh! oh! <laughs> it was the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. They didn't even really have that much. Some just some more stuff to throw on the stockpile, I suppose. And then honestly, I think like I just don't wanna just don't wanna have to deal with you. What the heck was that? You monster. Buddy has died. I got an achievement for that, so who's laughing now? A colonist is hungry. A colonist has died. A colonist is hungry. Sometimes solutions present themselves to problems. Just me and you now, Miguel. He's doing research literally over his dead body. Like, it's a sad story, man. Okay, buddy. Sorry to, sorry to do this to you, but <laughs> just. It's what he would have wanted, I'd like to think. And Miguel's going crazy. Okay, now, now we have ingots. I should be able to make a steam generator. It requires copper ingots. Why was I trying to get steel ingots this whole time? Am I stupid? Don't answer that. Steam generator. Generator small. Oh, no, the steam generator does require... Okay, well, let's, let's use a steam generator then. Can't place it there. Can't be placed there. It's got... You can place it here. Okay. You already have a steam generator? I think I'd remember that. I think I'd remember entering the industrial age. Oh, yeah, I see. I already I placed it, but I never built it. I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I'd like to cancel this build order. Mission accomplished. Okay, now you... Um, you got no fuel, but I tried to put some rocks in it. I may actually be dumb. I tried to put rocks in the steam generator. How about some coal? I mean, it's funny because coal is kind of like a, it's kind of like a rock. It's just a rock that generates some fuel for us. Now, are you actually... Are you connected? You, it, I mean, it looks like you're connected, right? But it, I don't know if you're actually generating power. I think it would be like a green line, maybe. I think I agree we should put in some electric lights. Take me to the workbench. Maybe we can build something electrical here. Power conduit, tools, buildings, buildings, furniture. Oil, uh, you know what, I haven't researched. Uh, a cage light, maybe? Radiator? You need to build wires first. You sure about that? Ingredients, requires wires. Look at that, I got some. Make, make a bunch of them.
Cage light sounds good. I need more iron, though. I only have four steel ingots. Why are you making conduits? Aren't conduits just another word for wires? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Are they... Brother, they're on! They're on! They got green lights! Those aren't wires. You need to craft wires. How do you know that? You're an electrical engineer? Aren't wires wires? Miguel continues to be cracked. He's completed his battery research. Wires. Requires copper ingots. We have many of those. I would say build me like five of those. Let's just see how that looks. You think wires can go through solid stone? Holy cow, we're generating so many. Now, wire me. Brother, what am I doing with these wires? <laughs> to wire you to a conduit? Now I just got a handful of wires. Pretty sure you don't need the wires at all? That's what I was thinking. Maybe we need like the conduits to, to come up a floor? I don't know. I mean, I think the research bench was kind of cooking. Miguel was doing great stuff. He just happens to be asleep right now. And then, build some cage lights, please. Takes two copper, two steel. Bro, forget the wires. Forget the wires. They're gone. I spent it. Build another cage light. Imagine... That's just simply all I have to say. Imagine the power of electric lighting. It took humanity 100,000 years. It took me five minutes. Brother, the whole base is lit up. Give me more ingots. Any iron ore in here? I don't believe so. You got some scrap metal parts. That's about it. 10,000 years of human evolution, and we've only begun to scratch the surface of something, something. Let me get um, some scrap metal. I will go to my smeltor and do me a favor, drop drop some iron ingots in here for sure, or some iron ore. Drop some um, drop some scrap metal in here, and then can you make a steel ingot out of scrap? You can't. You need four scrap metal. You only have. Oh no! He, are you doing it? You have scrap metal parts. There you go, I see. And then you should go infinite. Two different kinds of scrap metal. A lot of you guys haven't figured it out yet. You can put more than one slurp juice on a single ape. I've been hoarding this canned stew like crazy too. Um, and then, excuse me, you have 11 more iron ore here. Scrap metal, I sure hope it does. It may not make sense, but it, it gets the people going, and it's a reference to Vine, and that's the important part. I'm going to go ahead and say, give me these. And really, like, the pinnacle of my uh, base right here is that I have some electric light. So I'm just going to lean on that as my, my current competitive advantage. I really, can I make one more? Oh, you need two to make one? That's not what the Spice Girls said. No, actually, never mind. It's exactly what the Spice Girls said, now that I think about it. This one's for you, Miguel. 
Look at this. It's beautiful, man. How you doing, brother? We just need more iron. We did research some batteries. How's the coal doing? We got lots of it. Most of the population may have died, but at least we got lights. Brother, I take no responsibility for our colonists dying. I did what I could. Research AI active. Dude, it's researching. I think. I think? I don't know. This move is so slow. Do you have food? Hell yeah, I got food. Look, I got some canned stew just chilling here somewhere. In my stockpile. I got two canned stews right there. Yummy, yummy. We're slurping. And that takes me back to full. Your hot bar has steel scrap. Thank you so much. Dump it. Look at that. Holy cow. The ingots. What soup is cold? Or what soup is better cold? I don't Like, apart from a vichyssoise or something like that, I mean, it's a tough question to answer. For our new daycare, we had to get our daughter some canned food so that she could uh, eat it in case of emergency. Like, if the big earthquake ever strikes. Um... She's got something to eat until we can figure out the logistics of, like, getting there to pick her up. There's not a lot of great, uh, like, canned foods that you can just pick up from the grocery store to have them ready to eat whenever. Like, we were like, what should we do? Canned tuna or, like, canned ham or canned chicken? Like, <laughs> we were going to get peaches, but then the daycare provider was like, peaches aren't... Uh, like, that's not really what we're looking for. It needs to be, like, higher protein. It needs to be higher in calories and stuff like that. And I'm like, ah, jeez, I guess. I don't know, man. Need to get your kid out of this daycare? I think it's good that they're prepared. Hopefully it never has to come to that. But also, the daycare's kind of sick now. Every Everything kind of came together, to be honest with you. Like, now I feel bad that we were, like rude to our daycare provider i think it was just like um the first week was kind of stressful the first couple weeks and then the um maybe a little bit of like a language barrier made it think that she was kind of like attacking us but now every time i pick up uh my daughter she's like your kid is the best kid in the whole world you guys are doing a great job and i'm like oh she's nice <laughs> iron because of the peaches I mean just to be real I still there's still some things I don't understand like we don't just send her with like fruit for her every day on Monday we send her with like a carton of blueberries a carton of strawberries like six mandarin oranges and like I mean, you get, basically, we send, like, the entire produce section of the grocery store on Monday. And then we send no fruit for, like, the rest of the week. Like, I, I personally think it would make more sense if you just brought the food that they were going to eat that day every day. But, I mean, I've never run a daycare, so what do I know? Miguel, don't. Brother, don't. <laughs> you know what? How about you just, just always have him doing some research, okay? If Miguel's doing the research, he won't just get stunlocked by this slug. Fruit is a scam in that it's not actually that healthy. Yeah, but it's not a scam in that it's like insanely tasty and still relatively good for you compared to the stuff that like most people eat instead. Fruit's gotta be like, I'm not a nutritionist. This is like, um, you know, uh, caveat emptor on this one. But, like, fruit's got to be, the, like, the most needlessly maligned food on the planet. 
Like, yeah, it's got some sugar in it, but also it tastes good. You can't just eat, like, protein shakes for every single meal and have, like, zero carbohydrates. You're going to wash out of your diet in, like, two months. Or at least I would. Yes, I can. Okay, then, like, how many abs you got, brother? It, 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 if you're, like, so worried about macros, you must be fucking jacked. If you're like, I, I, I would never eat a banana. A banana has too much sugar. Then why are you swimming with your t-shirt on in the pool? You got to get your priorities straight. I'm just like, I don't mean it to be rude. I'm just saying. People say insane things to you and just expect you to take it. Fruit's bad for you now? What are you talking about? All I'm saying is if someone is out here saying fruit's bad for me, they better be like a damn fitness model. Or they better be like, it's bad for me, but I eat it anyway because it's really tasty. In which case, I would, I would accept that. I would accept that. We've all got something like that. Plus, fruit is, like, damn delicious. Oh, wait. Dude, he's so insane at the research. I'm always, like... Listen, I know this is not, like, exactly how it worked. But I still feel like it's got to be crazy to be, um... Like, a, a caveman, like, way back in the day. And, like, it's before the invention of fire, and you're just living off, like, grass or something like that. And then at the annual caveman summit, you end up going to, like, Florida or something like that. And you realize that the cavemen in Florida have been eating, like, beautiful navel oranges for their entire existence. And you're probably just out here, like... Really? Really? You've been eating the tastiest food on the planet. I've been eating, like, raw sweet potatoes. It hardly seems fair. <laughs> then the camera pans to a calendar and the date is 2024. I would plus two that. Bananas are very high in calories. What are you talking about? Is the banana, like, 80 or 90 calories? That's crazy. Plus, it, it automatically... It, it's partitioned into a serving size for you. I feel like most people are not out there eating, like, more than one banana. You're like, oh, I'm a little peckish. You get one banana, and then you just eat it. And then if you go back for a second, you probably should have had a bigger meal. You should have had a sandwich or something like that. I just think you're making it a little too complicated. That's the thing. I always see people, they give like fitness advice online. They'll say things like you can't outrun a bad diet. You absolutely can. You just have to run like a lot further. I'm like proof positive, man. I'm eating, I think like probably like 200 grams or more of goldfish every single day. I'm telling you, all you got to do is do cardiovascular exercise for 90 minutes instead of 15 minutes. And then you, you can do it. It's just you got to balance your priorities. You can outrun a bad diet. It's just going to take you a little longer. You probably can't outrun a diet where you're drinking like eight beers a day or 10 can, cans of Mountain Dew or something like that. But you can outrun the occasional snack. You're going to have to sweat a little bit more than you expected, though. Hang on, I'm mining. The heck, I'm getting called a boomer again. I think your generation of boomers skipped on it, adopting the insanely bad diet habits. I'm not a boomer. I'm the, my 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 generation of boomers is our millennials. There's millennials with bad diets for sure.
I do think that, like, maybe because Super Size Me came out when we were in, like, the 10th grade, maybe we were a little bit more health conscious than our parents. I don't know about Gen Z, though. I'm not, I'm not hating on Gen Z, but I did see uh, a, a TikTok reposted to Twitter today where a woman said, this is a breakfast for stoners, and then she smoked weed out of a plastic Starbucks cup through a plastic straw. And I was like, you are going to die. <laughs> you are... <laughs> but I don't know. She might be 34 for all I know. She might be exactly my age. I just saw that. I was losing it when I saw that, man. It was not you. It was not you. Unless... Okay, Miguel. Let's let's talk. It's you and me now against the world. I'd feel a lot better if I had a weapon. Don't we have didn't I put a weapon in the stockpile? Brother, there's there's two machetes in the stockpile. You could be Danny Trejo. Is this... Are you ready? <laughs> Do you have... He does have a weapon now. Machete doesn't text. Can't remember the last time I had people to talk to. Sure would be nice out here. Okay, well... What do you say frick me for? <laughs> I guess I'm chopped liver. <laughs> I was just talking to him. I also, I gotta... Can I see his priorities? I'd like to see the profile of Miguel. Look at his research, brother. Holy cow. Mood, happy. Childhood, academic. Specialization, polymath. Adulthood, he's a farmhand. Well, I think we did a pretty good job, Miguel. Again, this is Far World Pioneers. Available now. PC via Steam. Xbox, Xbox Game Pass. Exclamation point Far World. You can go check it out for yourself. I had a great time. I think we built a beautiful base. I mean... I, did we lose some people along the way? Yes, we fought like some eldritch gods, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, at the same time, we also learned how to slide, like the Goo Goo Dolls, that's a big one. And then we also uh, got electricity and electric lighting, which I think is a pretty big deal, quite frankly. A lot of people, I mean, more humans have probably existed before electricity was invented than have existed since electricity has ever been invented, so I think that we're doing above average. What do you think? Either way, thank you again to Tiny Build for the sponsorship, and I'll hit you with a slash marker. <laughs>